Hello everyone, welcome back to my career playthrough and General New Origins. Since my last video, Kerbal Space Program 2 has come out, but just like with Kerbal Space Program 1, I am looking for different things in General New Origins than I am looking at in Kerbal Space Program. And for one thing, Kerbal Space Program 2 right now does not have a career mode. So I am going to continue with General New Origins and see what it has to offer. And we will continue to explore the game I am still learning the basics as far as I'm concerned. I spent a long, long, long time in Kerbal Space Program to get where I am, and I don't feel like I'm in anywhere near as competent in this game. So we will proceed, and speaking of which, I think it is a good time to take a completely different track. Uh, in particular, it is time for us to explore uh, the bottom end of things. <laughs> well, we haven't really filled out the top of the tech tree, but somebody suggested that there were interesting rover missions. And I also actually wanted to do space shuttles in this game. So, and I heard that there was a space shuttle mission potentially. So I think uh, since I've already uh, gone out to Tidos and explored a little bit there, and uh, I, I sort of have my bearings as far as what I'll need to do further missions out there, I'm going to proceed with simpler things. We are going to start on this road with the jump. So, should I go with the tutorial? Um, I get maybe, sure, let's see what the tutorial has to say about these things. I'm nowhere near as uh, competent in two-dimensional vehicles as I am with three-dimensional vehicles, after all. So, we're launching from the village runway, roll down to the end of the runway, yeah, at least 150 meters away before I touch the ground. Well, that's a plane, actually, right? So, I guess maybe I'm a little bit more competent, as long as we're not on wheels. But let's see. Okay, would you like to back up? Uh, no, I can just make things all over again. Uh, I like doing that. Uh, welcome to the designer. First, let me show you how to move the view around. Okay, rotate the view by left-clicking. Move the view by right-clicking. Uh, okay, keep, keep going. Okay, command pod, brain of the rocket. Uh, okay, uh... We'll need to change it to horizontal configuration. Click the part properties on the left. And we want plane. Okay. Change the volume to 25%. And okay, fine, we'll close the panel. Okay, start building a car. Hey, I thought it was supposed to be a plane. It said uh, fly for 150 meters like the Wright brothers. Well, was it feeder meters? Anyway, the first step is to add an empty fuel tank behind the command disk. Okay, fine. Yep, and a nose cone. All right, this is no longer uh, uh, that nose cone means that it's more than just a car, right? Okay, wheels. Um, okay, add a rear wheel. Okay, um, wheels on both sides. Yes, symmetry. Mirror. Same thing for the other wheel. Front wheels turnable. Boy, they look like they'll collide with the body like that. Reduce the engine torque to save money. Is that how that works? Okay. Symmetry mode is enabled. The other side will automatically receive any changes we make. Um, properties. Turning angle. Turning angle to 20 degrees. Oop, 20. Change the torque to zero. Crank up the torque on the rear wheels. Okay, we're gonna be rear wheel drive. And front wheel steering, huh? All the way up, huh? Well, I definitely need a tutorial on this. I have no idea about how to do this in the game. Did not do this before. Uh, crank up the torque on this, yeah, yeah. Uh, change the gear ratio to one for maximum top speed. Uh, change the motor input to use pitch instead of throttle. Okay. Now you go in reverse in case you get stuck. This will allow you to go in reverse in case you get stuck. Okay. I guess. Click launch in the top right. Alright, fine. And we want the village runway for sure. Controlling the heading. Press and hold Q to decrease roll to 
them. E. A to... Okay, yaw seems to be turning, okay. Shift to increase throttle. Find the input of the wheel set to throttle, but that doesn't reverse the car. Let's use pitch instead. Okay, B to engage the brakes. Finer control or leave an input fix at defined value, then you can use the input sliders. Um, okay, that one. Okay, well. Roll down. Okay, so we're just rolling. We're rolling. I can steer. All right. We're going 10 meters per second. 13, 14, 15. Oh, we're using it as a launch ramp kind of thing? Oh, that's that's the way we're doing it. Okay, I thought we were going to fly. Okay. Land speed, 28 meters per second. So we've got 10 extra tech points, just like that. And we're not going to stop, right? Okay. No, let's see if it survives. It didn't survive. Okay, end flight. Okay, uh, well, save flight. Save an exit. Okay, next. Taxi driver. Go through all the checkpoints. Track distance is 428 meters. Uh, go through all the checkpoints in under 20 seconds. Track distance is 387. I don't know. I don't think we could do both at the same time. This has like a bird, which is better. Uh, wings are nice. Let's do that. Okay, uh, no. Started with the car from the jump tutorial, but we made some tweaks to make room for wings. Okay, first we need to add a wing. Eek, eek. That is a long, long wing. Okay, we are resizing it. Boop. Okay, add a control surface to the wing. So we'll be able to roll and turn. Add control surface. Change the input to roll. Use the symmetry tool and duplicate our work on the other side. Okay, now add an elevator. Right click and drag the wing. Okay, we need to resize. Oh, okay. Elevator control surface should respond to pitch input. Okay. Oh, I went the wrong way. Okay, and symmetrize. Now add the rudder. Okay. And that should be yaw. Using pitch input, we need to change the motor input for wheels to use throttle. Otherwise, when you pull back up on the stick to pitch upwards, you will also decrease motor input. Very important to consider the relationship between center mass and center lift. Okay. And center lift. Well, that looks fine to me. Wright Brothers will be proud. You only have one wing. They would be shocked. Anyway, no. Uh, no, it's just magnet. Okay, fine. Let's launch. But we have to keep in mind our requirements for the mission. Make your first flight. Well, apparently we don't have to <laughs> take into consideration that. Okay, pitch. Up will pitch down. Roll, roll. Well, I mean, I've got, in theory, a joystick. Right? Okay, maybe, maybe I need to tell it, remind it that I have a joystick. Alright, so that should be... Good. Oh, oh, here we go. Roll down to the end of the runway. Roll is up. Pitch is working. I hopped a bit. Uh, oh no, it's a little bit squirrely.
ground distance. Kill the wheels so they don't waste battery and engage the autopilot. The autopilot will try to keep you pointed. Kill your throttle immediately. No, no, no. Okay. Click the button on the right side of the screen to show the nav sphere panel. No, not that. Anything but that. Okay, line up the blue triangle with the thingamajig. I got it to 19, hey. Can I just not have you do that? Oh, I guess maybe it's important to have you do that. <laughs> okay, well, anyway, I'm in control. Do some loops. Disable heading lock. Uh, I've got the joystick. Uh, oh, we want to go down. Ooh, this kind of loop. That's dangerous. I can't complete a loop. No! Ah, uh, oh. I've been disconnected. Okay. Save flight. Save and exit. Okay. Next. Taxi driver or fast roller. That doesn't pay as much. Go faster than... Hold your speed for at least five seconds. Is there something else? Um, taxi driver though. Well, it says progression here, so that's important. Go through all the checkpoints, okay. Well, we, we can just use the same craft anyway. It works as a car. Targeting maintenance hangar. Oh. Okay. How about brakes? Oh, not that quickly. Okay, keep going. Okay, go through all the checkpoints. Targeting upper patio. Oh no. Oh no! Turn, turn! Ouch. I have failed. What have I done? Well, I can sort of skim off to the side here. I, I don't feel... This is distinctly inelegant here. Nope. Nope. I should have gone through instead. Alright. Th this is a rare case where I'm going to retry it. Cars, I tell you. See? See? Hopeless. Two dimensions. We won't break this time, we'll just go right through. Alright. Oh no! Wings might cause us to go up. Oh no! Oh no! I've done it. I've done it. I've gotten myself stuck on a roof. Okay. I can get myself to another planet, but I can't get myself around this place. Once I get to the upper patio, I don't even know if I can turn around. Rigs. Okay. Oh, here we go. Ah, shoot. Okay, well, it's sort of rolling backwards. Well, I guess that's good, because I'll be able to get out of it just by rolling backwards. Okay. Roll backwards, please. Please. Dark back door. Okay, where is this dark back door? The heck? There's two more? 
That one and something else? Did they know this was gonna be the most difficult mission for me? Look at this tight corner. Okay, brakes. Okay, the brakes are really strong though. Oh, my turning radius. Come on, come on. Freaking SR71 turning radius. Okay, um. I, I'm not gonna be able to get out of that. <laughs> Eek, 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 eek. Oh, great. Oh, uh, we're going backwards, okay. Well, that can help me straighten up at least. Well, there's enough of a slope that we could probably roll back again. But this is tough. Oh, 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 I didn't want to do that. Please roll back. Roll back, roll back, roll back. Juno statue. Hmm. No, it's gonna get stuck. It's gonna get stuck. No. This needed more of a slope. I went too far. Yeah, I think I have to try it with the car, not the plane. Okay, fine. Clean betrayed me. We need the different control scheme input. Um, pitch. I have learned my lesson in theory. Oh, uh, oh, oh, no. No! Like, why is it like that? We don't really want that long a car. Okay, let's try this. This seems more nimble. All right. Let's see, verify. We can go backwards. All right. I am fully confident now. Gotta wreck myself though. I got some air there. Whoa, no! <laughs> I flipped myself around. Okay, retry. Oh, I flipped again. Oh, at least it landed on its feet. Okay, jeez. The brakes are too strong. Okay, back. In a way, these are the challenges that make a career mode interesting, though. There's the infamous Next Space Rebels game where they had really weird challenges. Really, really weird challenges. But that's what makes things interesting, you see. The stranger the challenges. And the missions to launch multiple satellites are pretty unique, too. Okay, careful. Uh, fine, we can do that. Ah, uh, ah! Juno statue. Those, are those preventing us from going that way? Wait, can we slip through? Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah, uh, ah! Uh. Well, I got through. Okay. So this one isn't too bad. All right, finally. Okay, safe flight. Juno Peak. Get to the top of the peak. Can I use a plane? Well, we'll find out. We'll start with the car first, though. Oh, I forgot the camera. Sorry, sorry. Camera. Get to the top of the peak. There. Okay. There are little ramps here. <laughs> uh, I don't know. 
We may need more torque. And, you know, different gear ratio, I don't know. Yeah. Well, okay, hold on. Uh... I mean, this, this slope is a little bit less steep, I think. And again... Uh, come on, little guy. Ah, uh... on slingshot across. No, no. Uh, well, I mean that that part might be. Woo. Okay, keep it going, little guy. Go, go, go. Up, 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 up. Yeah, no, no, it's so close. This has been a great place. Okay, we need to change it. Maybe we need four wheel drive. Higher values result in more torque four wheel, but lower RPM. It's fine. Let's try a gear ratio of two. Okay, that's probably better. Okay, let's go for it. Will that be enough to challenge this slope? Well, not like that, it isn't. Come on, oh, it's whizzing, whizzing up here. They could climb straight up with higher. Oh no, no! Come on! Aww. I need a react. Okay, I need a reaction wheel so that it can right itself. I don't know if that's how that works here, but shoot, we gotta try it. Maybe that's enough. Okay, let's see. I'm just such a reckless driver. I feel like the additional weight is causing us problems, though. Okay. The tracks on the ground are neat, neat too. Oh, 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 oh. Okay. Okay, okay, well, this is still a ways from the peak, gosh. Okay, watch out for pits and such. Highest climb. For the first time not achieved by a rocket <laughs> landing somewhere. Okay. All right, we've completed the contract. In flight, recover craft. All right. Shockingly fast. Now we're talking. Fly. Also good. Hold your speed for one kilometer. Um, can we go faster than that? Anyway. Get to a Mach point. One, two, five. Stay under 15 kilometers. Hmm. I don't want to be able to take off. Okay. Wings again.
Yeah, let's get thinner, darn it. We want speed. And control surface. All right, roll. And have, yeah, I mean, the mirror symmetry is good. And then we're gonna have duplicates. Duplicates are going to have pitch. And let's just have these up. Well, looks like it needs to be moved forward a bit. I don't, uh, we don't really need a camera, I don't think, for this one. Okay, now well, it's gonna look like that. We should. Oh, it automatically sizes to half of it somehow. Okay, and rudder. Oh no! Don't do that. Why does it always want to go upside down? Okay, that's y'all. Is that enough wing for this thing? Hmm. It really should be outboard if it's roll. It shouldn't be inboard like this. I don't know if it lets me change that. Well, it'll work. Maybe. Um, I like an engine though. We have to hold a uh, Mach 1.25 for some time. Ion engine, yes. We have not discovered the right kind of engine. We could unlock it. I've got the tech points. But it'd be more interesting to have a pressure-fed Carolox engine that's really small, maybe. That's still way too big. Okay, we need to move the wing back now. Probably at the center of the tank would be best. Just to make it more like a plane. That would be better. Now, what kind of gear do we have? Car wheel. That seems to be it. Hmm. Okay. 
Well, for now, we'll have to take it. Let's try this. How do I get a plane like that? <laughs> it looks fancy. You have to do all sorts of painting and such. Stay under 15 kilometers. How oh, boring. Anyway. Um, well, the wheels are no longer responding to throttle. They're responding to pitch, which isn't exactly handy, but... It'll be fine, I guess. Oh, 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 it, it's squirrely. Oh, no. Okay, stop, 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 stop. Hmm. Maybe I should turn off the gimbling on the engine. Oh, so the wheels shouldn't steer, like at all, I think. No gimbal, no steering on the wheels, just the rudder. It is, uh, this is not the thrust I thought I was going to have. Oh, okay. Oh, the rudder is pretty good. Uh, the rudder is actually too powerful. Uh, 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 uh. Oh, fudge. Oh, no. Oh, gosh. Okay, let me just recover it. First of all, our engine is not accelerating us enough. I thought 0.48 thrust to weight ratio would be much better, but that's vacuum. 0.34, still. Second of all, this guy, deflection angle, much less. Can't slow that sucker down. Well, let's try that. Hold on, check the center of mass and center of lift. Okay. Oh, uh, uh, oh, it's still veering. Oh. Gnome engine taking damage. Uh oh. We've done goofed. Maybe I should taxi to the runway. Yes. Um, these still have engine torque. They're on pitch. Let me put them on throttle. And then we just won't activate the engine. Okay, taxiing. Maybe we should actually light it, light the engine in flight after we get onto the ramp. Yeah. Hmm. Uh, oh, oh. Okay, okay. You know, that rudder is a problem. Ow. Less. <laughs> Much less. And you, you can have some turning angle. Oh, this one still had 20 degrees turning angle. Shoot. I thought some symmetry needs to work properly. Let's have gear ratio one again. Oh, it's just... Oh, no! Okay, 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 okay. Yep, uh, yep. Uh. I'm just gotta take it easy. Let's let's uh no 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 Gosh darn it. YOLO YOLO <laughs> uh, uh, This way Come on you little thing just get into the air, I don't care. Okay. Stupid runway. Pull up. Pull up. Okay. 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 Oh, yeah. 
hate being on the ground. Being on the ground sucks. Three dimensions. <laughs> Stupid ground. Flying around. My first flight. My first proper flight. Powered flight. My first proper powered flight in Juno. With a plane. A rocket plane. And I think I'll wrap it up here. This has been... We've had some very difficult missions, <laughs> as it turns out. Uh, yeah, yep. That runway, these wheels. Well, I'll have to figure out some better way of doing that, clearly. It's a nice little plane once it's off the ground. Uh. We, I should have turned back and head head back to runway and landed there. Uh, of course, landed would be a strong word. Crashed there. Um, uh, smack. Uh, Okay, breaks. Mostly survived. We're just getting down though. We just lost the engine, which admittedly is very expensive. But okay, 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 okay. End flight. Cover craft. All right. We have started new things in Juno. We've got plenty of tech points, so I could unlock... Let me unlock some jet engines. Well, it's a racer. Racing rim. Well, okay. Just for completeness sake. Um, off-roader. Well, hold on, let's... But, but this, it's got contracts here. Oh, we can get all of them anyway. All right. Uh, let's see. Let's get this paint shop one. Pushing air. Fine. A lot of electric motor stuff for pushing air. Okay, and uh, uh, the stretchy legs landing gear. I would have liked some landing gear. Mm, you know what? I'm gonna get the landing gear first. I don't know about the contracts here, but we're like only 10 tech points off, so we'll be able to do something. The next thing here, it's got that fast roller one, but then endurance trip, drive around five kilometers. Stay grounded. Gosh. Okay, well, anyway, we are going to make our progress somehow, but for now, Thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please do press like. If you have any comments or suggestions, please leave them in the comment section below, and I'll see you next time.